Hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you some concepts that could help you in calculating a percentage of total in Power Query. This is not something I always recommend, which uh, because percentages you can often better do in DAX, but the video will show you different methods that will show you a few ways on how you can work with Power Query and just understand the concepts. And who knows, you might find some use case to actually use the percentage of total in Power Query. So the main screen we're looking at on this screen here is we are looking at the sales amount of different colors and they belong to different color groups. So colors black and blue belong to popular and then there are some that belong to other depending on the amount of sales. Now let's say for each of these colors, we wanna show as a percentage how much of the total, uh, the total sales has been sold in a certain color. So for example, if we would look at black, Black is only this uh, 8 million something. What is the percentage that this 8 million something is of the total amount right here? How can you do that in Power Query? Well, there's several ways. And let's first look at the first one. Okay. So one of the easiest ways to do this is we can go to add column and make a custom column. You'll get the pop-up box right there. And what we will write is percentage of total and we will try to divide the sales amount of each row. And what we will have to do right now is see if we can get the total of everything right there. Now, how can you reference this? Well, one of the easiest tricks is to say this. We can have a list sum formula and the list sum formula always wants to have a list of items to sum up. So if we could reference this entire column and return it as a list, that would already suffice for calculating the total. And you can do that in the following way. If you look at the step name that was before, so in our case it's called source, if you reference that and say is equal to source, and then you open your brackets and write sales amount, so that is the, the name of the column in the top, then referencing the table, the, the step in the, that the table represents called source, and the column will actually give you the result in a list. So if we try this, you know what? I'm going to delete the first part first, but let's see what, what happens here if we would just do the first part. So if we make a list sum of this part here, you're going to find that this already totals everything right there. Perfect. Now, the only thing that's left to do is make sure you divide the sales amount by that. And then format this as a percentage. And that's how you can first of in the first method already show your line as a percentage of the total. Okay, let's have a look at version two. So another way we could do this is we could use the group by function. So if you go to home, we could click on uh, group by, and go to advanced, and instead of grouping by any of these colors, you can actually just go ahead and delete this. You just click more, delete, give us the sum of the sales amount, which will give us the total amount and you click okay. Now the total amount is now in the first row of the total amount column in this step. Let's call this step group rows without a space. Perfect. Now, if I go back and start on the step called source. So what I did is, first of all, this is our base table. I then calculated the, the total amount called group rows. And in my next step, I just reference back to the first step called source because I want to add something to this. Because I already know what happens here and it's called total amount, I can make use of this. So I can now again use something called custom column and I could say I have the sales amount and I want to divide it by group rows, previous step, and then the column is called total amount. And because this column is at this point still a table, we just want to reference the single value on the first line. So you can open a curly bracket and write a zero, close your curly bracket, and that should reference the first item in the column. And then if you make this a percentage, then also right here, we have exactly the same result as we had earlier. So that's two different ways. And another way which we could use is the following. So now we actually reference the value, but in the same way, we could just also add the value there. So we could say group I, 
Mm, then we could say we want this and an aggregation in the sum. So I want to see the sum of the sales amounts and I want to have the table that we have. If I now click OK, you'll find that we have the same value that we had earlier, but we also have the table object next to it. Now, the big trick now is if we in the column expand these, click OK, you're going to find that this column called count, which is a bit of a weird name, but this is the total sum of the column, is put next to all the other lines, with as a benefit that you can now add a separate column and you just divide the sales amount by the count column. And also by doing that and getting to your percentage, you get the exact same thing. Okay, so those are three ways in which you can get your percentage of total. But let's say you wanna do this now, um, you wanna have a percentage of the category that your color is in. So the color black belongs to the, the group called popular. So what percentage does black represent for the total sales in the popular group? We can of course also do that. Now there is one difference. We, uh, well, let's just pick a new query here. So what we can do, we can go to group by, advanced, and we now want to group by the color group. Earlier we deleted this, but now we just want to have the color group here. Then we want to have the sum of the sales amount, which I'll call total amount. And we also want to have the all rows operation, which will return the table object with all of the group rows that we had. So we can call this details. There we go. Perfect. So now the total amount of these groups is here. We have a table object and we can do just the same as before. I'll click away the color group because we already have it. We click OK. And now the subtotal of each of these groups is here. And what's left for you to do is add a custom column and divide these columns. But you know what? We did that a few times. So why don't we do it in a different way? We want to divide the sales amount by the total amount. The order that we click is important. Then you go to add column and you click standard and then divide. And this will make the formula for you straight away. And we can make this a percentage type. Perfect. And now what, what's happening is that if we look at the first groups, then this part is equal to 100%. And this part is also equal to 100%. So you've now seen three ways in which you get a percentage of total without categories. And you can also do it now for subcategories. I hope that was helpful. If you know another way that you want to share with us, I encourage you to do so because I always like to see other methods. So throw it in the comments. And if this added any value, I'd like a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.